Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and if you can't tell by the title of this video or by the fact that I'm wearing glasses, I'm going to be doing a makeup look for people that wear glasses or anybody that wants to look cute in general because this is kind of just a basic makeup look. Um, and I am going to be doing it blind, obviously, because I actually do wear glasses. Normally I wear contacts in my videos. Also, my lighting is super weird because when I turned my ring light on to film this video, I realized very quickly why you invest in the anti-glare glasses because there was a huge ring on either lens. Um, so I am going to be filming this with the umbrellas and hopefully you can see well enough. I tried to make it as bright as I could, but let's get into it. All right, I've taken my glasses off and I am now blind filming this for you. Hopefully it turns out well. One of my biggest tips when you are a glasses wearer who needs to do their makeup obviously without physically wearing your glasses so you can work to, around and get to your face is to always keep the biggest compact mirror that you can with you um, to do your makeup so that way you can really see as much of your face like close up as possible. For me that is the Marc Jacobs bronzer palette but there are thousands of huge mirrors out there in the world. This one is just the one that I'm using. Um, and yeah, so I am blindly going to apply my makeup. I'm going to start by applying a bit of eyeshadow primer, and I'm not going to be applying this to my eyelids. I'm actually just applying this right here where my glasses are going to sit on my face, and that's just going to help them, um, or that's just going to help my foundation stick around a lot better in those places. Normally when you're wearing glasses, it can tend to kind of move your foundation there or like dent it or crease it, um, and so this is just going to help prevent that. I'm using the very smallest amount of this, but this is the one from Pure Minerals. And it is nice. I like it. And then I'm also going to be keeping my foundation very, like, minimal in that area. Um, mostly because, like, you're not really going to see it. My glasses are pretty thick. Um, as you saw in the first couple frames, my glasses are thick black. Um, so you're not really going to see that area anyways. And a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be doing today is going to be kind of making my eyes look brighter and more awake so that you can really see them from behind the glasses. Um, because my glasses are heavy. They do leave quite a shadow on my face. And, um, they make my eyes look a little bit smaller, too, because I am nearsighted. So, I'm going to be trying to open up my eye. Today, I'm choosing Smashbox Studio Skin. This is a matte foundation. I'm choosing it mostly because it is the color that I am right now, because I have self-tanned. And also because using a matte foundation, um, keeps it here longer. Um, when I wear my glasses, I tend to be a little bit more oily in this section of my face. And using a matte foundation kind of helps to prolong the wear. <laughs> Um, and I'm just going to be applying that with a foundation brush, just a couple pumps. And I'm not really going to put too much foundation over my nose anyways. So I'm keeping this mostly on the outer part of my skin. And I'm kind of having a spotty moment, so I wanted to wear something a little bit more full coverage too. As you can see, my glasses do leave kind of a lot of shadow around my eye area. So I'm going to be counteracting that with a brightening peach corrector. This is the one from Pixi, and I'm just going to look in the mirror and kind of see where my glasses are leaving a shadow and really kind of focus this there and then I'm going to be topping it with a light reflective concealer from Rimmel. Now that I have that corrector on and blended I'm going to be applying a Rimmel Match Perfection and I am just applying that like in the inner corner where I'm the darkest and then also kind of out here. I don't really want to bring this too far onto the face because if I highlight my face like all kind of really dramatically. You're not really going to end up seeing it anyways, so I'm just going to save myself a little bit of that work. I'm also going to be applying a tiny bit of this underneath my brow bone. And I am having a spotty moment, so anywhere that I have a blemish, I'm going to be using my Menage Concealer. I really like this for over blemishes because it's just like a good drier texture um, concealer, and I'm just going to apply that with my fingertips. And that is my base pretty much done. Since I used more of a matte foundation, I don't really need to go in with powder all over the face. But I am going to be using a little bit of loose powder from Dermablend under my eyes, across the bridge of my nose where my glasses sit, and then on my blemishes and anywhere that I think I'm going to get a little bit extra oily, just to make sure nothing moves around throughout the day. Alright, so now I'm going to be adding a little bit of color back into my face. Obviously, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs bronzer that I've been using for my mirror. And I'm going to do this with my glasses on because I don't really want to put any darkness where my glasses are covering because they're already putting a shadow there anyways. So I'm mostly going to keep this just like on this cheek area and then across the forehead to kind of warm up my forehead and make it look a little bit smaller. I don't normally contour as it is, but when wearing glasses I really especially avoid any kind of a contoury 
look just because the glasses are so angular if I make my face look super angular as well it all gets kind of harsh and then I look kind of like much older than I really am so I like to keep this kind of organic and more bronzy and like more color rather than just contouring I'm also gonna add a little bit of blush this is chiffon from Smashbox same fluffy brush and then I'm gonna do this with my glasses on still and I'm just going to place this right under like this corner of my glasses on my cheek and then blend it backwards. And that's just going to add a little bit of color. It has a little bit of shimmer in this blush. I don't want to do like a highlight because you're not going to see it anyways. So this kind of adding a little bit of shimmer in my blush gives me a little bit more freshness to the skin. It gives my skin like a little bit more of an alive, awake look. Um, but without doing a full highlight because you're not going to really see a highlight with glasses on and then I'm just taking a little bit of blush that's still on the brush onto my temples just because I think it blends everything out and makes everything look a little bit more natural. And that is my skin done. I am now going to be applying a little bit of a nude liner into the waterline of my eye. That's going to help my eye stand out a little bit more from behind the glasses and make them appear a little bit bigger or more like their natural size because my glasses do tend to make my eyes look a little bit smaller and more shadowed. Next I'm going to curl my eyelashes. If you have super long straight eyelashes, you might find that with mascara on they're going to touch your actual frame or your actual lenses. So giving your lashes a curl is going to help them be a little bit further away from the actual lens and it also is going to help to open up my eyes a little bit more. I love a good curled lash. This is the hardest thing I've done yet without being able to see. Um, as you can tell from my previous videos, I never wear my glasses. I wear my glasses maybe like twice a year, and it's usually when I like run out of contacts or my allergies are acting up. And then I'm going to apply my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Espresso. You've seen me do this 1,000 times. It's my favorite thing for my lashes, personally. I don't like a full mascara look, like on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so especially when I'm wearing my glasses, I don't want anything heavy around my eyes. I kind of want to keep it a little bit more light and natural. I'm really making sure to get my lower lashes because I have that lighter color inside my eye. This is really going to frame it and kind of make it look like it's part of my eye, make the whites of my eyes appear a little bit bigger from behind my glasses. Now it's time to talk about eyebrows. For me, my full brow is visible over the top of my glasses. That is not the case for everybody. Some people's are kind of covered with their um, glasses. And some people wear lighter colored glasses so you can really see their brows. It's all dependent on the shape of your glasses and the color of your glasses and the shape of your eyebrows. For me, my full eyebrow is visible. And since my glasses are black, I really do want to go in and define my brow a little bit because that's going to kind of play off each other. I don't obviously want to do like a big, thick, dark, angular brow because that's going to be competing too much with the glasses. And obviously the glasses are kind of the main focus of my face just because they are so statement. Um, but yeah, I really want to go in and fix the shape, make them look a little bit more even side to side, um, and define them, but I don't want to make them super dark at the same time. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I want my brows to be defined and natural looking, and I think that will play well best with glasses. By the way, today I'm using the NYX Brow Pencil. This is the Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I am going to be kind of comparing this to the Anastasia Pencil in a few videos time. I know that a lot of people... Um, want to try out the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but it is a little bit more expensive. Um, and this one is, well, it's not the cheapest brow pencil at the drugstore. It's a lot less expensive than the Anastasia one, so I will definitely be giving you my full thoughts on this in the near future. I'm actually going to have to take off my glasses to <laughs> fill my brows in because I can't really get close enough. Um, so I'm just going to fill them in, and then I'll be back in just a second. Concealer pencil is really convenient for cleaning up around your brows if you make a mistake. The struggle is real. Oh my god, this is so hard. I feel so sorry for people who wear glasses every single day because I couldn't do this. I would be so, I would just stop wearing makeup. Hopefully those brows look okay. That was definitely a lot harder than I was anticipating it to be. Last thing to talk about are lips. I'm going to keep it super simple by applying a tinted lip balm. You could go ahead and apply, apply whatever lip product makes you happy. I think applying something more bright would definitely uh, play really well with glasses because it would kind of give it something to play off of. But yes, so this is what I look like. All right, that is my finished face for makeup with glasses. I hope you all learned something or at least thought this video was interesting. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below if you have any other tips for glasses wearers. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can be here every Monday and Thursday when I post new content. You can click on my face right now if you're not already subscribed. Also check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Both of those things are at John John Talks, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!